Our Heavenly Father does not need your silver or your gold. Our Heavenly Father only wants our unquestioning obedience to Him and to Him alone. He tells us to trust in Him with all our hearts and not to lean upon our own understanding. In all our ways acknowledging Him and He will direct our paths. We are not to be wise in our own eyes, but we are to fear the Lord and depart from doing evil. Give, and it will be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you give, it will be given unto you again. Do not store your treasures on earth, where moth and rust corrupt, and where thieves can break in to steal it. But store your treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust corrupt, and where thieves cannot break in and steal it. For where your treasures are, there will your heart be also. Take no thought for your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, nor for your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds. They do not sow, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much better than the birds? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one inch to his height? And why do you worry about what you will wear? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, nor do they spin. And yet, not even Solomon in all of his glory was adorned like one of these. If our Heavenly Father so clothes the grass of the fields, which is today and tomorrow is cast into the fire, how much more will he clothe you? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For after all these things do sinners seek. Your Heavenly Father knows that you are in need of all these things. Seek the kingdom of God first and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you.